And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Fizz's Fate, our next viewer submitted deck. This one's going to be heading on over to PNZ to uh, pair with Bilgewater for Twisted Fate and Fizz. We're going to be playing a lot of spells because spells matter for Fizz. You know, we need to cast six plus spells to level up Fizz. And of course, we can use any spell to stop enemy spells and skills from um, targeting the Fizz as well. Um, so, you know, we got some cheap spells in here. Poro Cannon, Warning Shot, Jury Rig, Rummage, like that kind of stuff. Um, what PNZ gives us is PNZ gives us Ballistic Bot, which is going to be really important here because these Ignitions, cheap spells, so that's valuable, and it's uh, Nexus damage to the enemy, which is going to be important for our NAB card. So that's going to be a good way to turn on our NABs. We got Black Market Merchant and Pilfer Goods with the NAB. Besides that, um, you know, PNC also get you know, you know, that gives us the Rummage, the Mystic Shot, a Terrative Improvement. This is a card that I have been pretty disappointed with in most decks. Um, by by that I mean that. Uh, for how like the games play out like usually you need to be affecting the board most turns early on same with your opponent it's it's a kind of card that you just can't really cast the first five six turns of the game because you just need to keep on playing other stuff and it's it's really hard to spend like the to waste the two spell mana to just play an additional unit right like like playing ballistic bot is a four mana unit you know like that's that's a lot of mana for a ballistic bot you know for just for an example now I think that the now with that being said, I think that this card could work kind of well in here because one, it, it's still good in the late game though, right? Like if when, once you're in the late game and you have a lot access to a lot more mana and two mana isn't nearly as big a deal. Now we're talking about that being better, but also since we're playing Fizz and we need spells, um, then our, uh, you know, having the two mana burst speed spell to protect Fizz, that's also really valuable. Now, the other thing about this deck is it's a very good iterative improvement deck because we're playing Wiggly Burblefish. So this is another real good reason to play iterative improvement because Wiggly Burblefish is a very underrated card. This is a, a card that if we can cast a bunch of spells, which is what we're going to be trying to do, especially with these ignitions in here, and cast get our six spells cast, um, then this Wiggly Burblefish will cost zero mana because it, it reduced the cost by one for each spell you've cast. So if we can get zero mana, three one elusive, you know, that also creates a spell for you, that's big game. Like that's really awesome. And so now we get zero mana wiggly burble fishes, and then suddenly we get to copy those with iterative improvement. And that can suddenly you know, that can turn into a whole bunch of elusive damage kind of out of nowhere. So that's you know, so that's um, why I think this could be a good iterative improvement deck. Uh, let's see. Then we got like some removal, we got some suit ups to you know do its thing and then we even have a spicy mind meld at the top end that if we are able to, to get some a good amount of units out we've cast a bunch of spells this can be our late game card to just um make our uh units really really big you know we cast like 10 spells now they're all 10 tens for example so that's our spicy one there all right so let's give it a try fizz's fate we'll be playing this on over in ranked Five games. Okay, we're going to be playing against another Twisted Fate deck. This one with Zoe. So they're going to be trying to cast a whole lot of cards pretty quickly. So the Iterative Improvement could be a little slow. I love the, the Ballistic Bot uh, Merchant combo. Aftershock can be used to kill like a Twisted Fate. It's a very expensive way to kill a Zoe. Worst case scenario is a Zoe on turn one. Um, because I don't have any answers to Zoe. So hopefully they don't have Zoe on turn one. Because that's how we could lose this game. A Terrative Improvement's only followers, of course. You're not going to be able to create, uh, you know, a copy champions. So. No Zoe copying for me. We play in build rules. So while I could aftershock the Zoe, they could also have Bastion to stop that. I guess I'm trading four mana spells at that point. My other option is just go Ignition here and then play Black Market Merchant and Jagged Butcher, which isn't bad. Save me. 
Maybe we just do that. We'll have like red card, who's the fate next turn. Darkness hides in my path. You dropped something. Whatever the cost. Well, we found a bastion. Ton of great things to play. I just kind of need more mana. Keep up, keep up. I'm gonna just play another elusive. Just gonna get a blocker out here. What's up, Wiggle Man? Wigglefish. Deal me in. Who says I don't share? Hold on. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. I guess Ignition does make the Burble Fish cost less. What's in here? But I also kind of want to save mana. Lady Luck is smiling. Must we fight? I, I imagine they have Pale Cascade if they're attacking with Zoe, right? Like, there's, there's no reason to make this attack if they don't have Pale Cascade, or maybe there is. Alright, make my Burble Fish cost less. Can you improve perfection? Let's just get this attack in. It's a good attack for us. Fear not death. You can't do this. Must we fight? Very happy with getting a hush out of their hand. Very happy with that. I was expecting like a second hush after they cast the first one. A game. Go on then. Watch the ball, folks. Don't ask where it's from. Ask how much. I'm gonna take this messenger, draw another card with us having this twist of fate. We got a prismatic. Prismatic spacey sketcher. So remember, the wiggly burble fish will also create a one mana spell. And so that could be something that we could discard with Zonite Urchin as well. If 
their Twist of Fate's at six. I'm going to just shut that off. They can play, like, another Twist of Fate red card, though, which would be, you know, pretty bad for me to see. It's a good Spell Thief. They can grab Bastion. That'd be the worst thing for me to see, which, I mean, I guess that... I don't think I've played enough spells for them not to be able to get Bastion, so yeah, they just get to be able to get Bastion. That's pretty good. Ah. Uh, I was worried about that, that they would get Parlay. I wanted to get Parlay. I wanted the parlay. That I am superior life form. All or nothing. Can I paint you? Fear not death. I spilled. Others. Okay, and I'll just wait. The, the Yiben Warned may be nice. I don't, I'm not going to just discard the Yiben Warned. So I only got slow spell. Or, never mind, now we got a fast spell. Never mind, alright, yeah, we, we good, we good. Yeah, they, they stole my... They, they, they stole my Bastion that I stole from them. Stealing a stolen bastion. Reality is just your mind crumbling under what it doesn't understand, silly. Eyes open. Safety disengage. Be nothing left when I'm done. Wow. Dreadway deckhand. Um, I guess all that's doing is just really killing this messenger. I'm a people person. I have to challenge like this because gold card will stun, will kill my Twisted Fate. So I can, I can Poro Cannon discard the Ignition or I can just go Urchin discard the Ignition. Do this because, like, I could make the two okay, cool. I can make the two daring poros and like discard one of the daring poros. I think the most likely outcome is my opponent just plays another twisted fate and I lose. That's the most likely outcome of this game right now. They we're doing similar things, but they just do it better by playing uh, Targon, and and they're just more focused on Twisted Fate than what I am. Poro Cannon is, you know, like we'll have Poro Cannon discard Jailbreak to protect my Fizz, and actually, right now, because I wanted I want to turn on this Pilfer Goods anyways. This this Mystic Shot will stop the Make It Rain. Is the Mega Rain targeted Fizz? So now that allows me to turn on Pilfer Goods. Um, please don't have Twisted Fate. <laughs> they didn't play Twisted Fate last game, or last turn. Sorry. Gotta go with the flow. Alright, now I have the Shakedown that's useless that I can discard. Cool. I wanted something that with two health for the Fortune Croaker. I don't wanna I don't wanna do it on the Fizz, and all the rest of these things have one health. 
Darkness hides in my path. If I kill you, I don't fuck you, stupid. Woohoo! This'll send him running. Hill Cascade's a big difference between our two decks. Especially Sprayfin. I like Sprayfin plus Pale Cascade. That's a pretty broken combination. Yeah. Hell Cascade. A little better than Suit Up. Yeah, I wonder if I should have taken Fortune Croaker. This work this is gonna work out though, I think. Sure. I guess their plan is to block. Have Zoe block the Fizz, I guess. Yeah. Right, Hush. I can't protect against Hush. Right. So this other card in here is probably some kind of protection for Zoe because they just like they didn't just do that right away. They like passed priority and they were willing to go to the end of the turn and not actually cast that um, pick a card. That's a good time for rummage. I'm really glad that I held on to these. Now they're quick attacks. My plan is definitely to play Twisted Fate and then also play uh, Pick a Card, right? Like that's that's definitely the plan. Soak it in. I'm glad I waited. I'm always up for a round or two. Uh, they have one card left in their deck. Okay, so yeah, maybe it's maybe it's better to just let this happen. Who says I don't and then me. instead of going pick a card, because yeah, I guess I guess this is kind of their turn to kill me, right? So like, let's instead of doing that, let's play new Twisted Fate. Always on the run. And you know, gold card again. This gold card is just gonna kill one of these two twos. Um, it's not gonna kill the Zoe. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. You know, I wish it did. All right, there we go. 
one and zero because they just ran out of cards. Out. And a big part of that was our, you know, all of our nabs, right? Like we nabbed six cards from them, so that helped mill them out. And then their deck was just all about drawing cards. Hey, yeah, yeah, Mind Splitter, we did. Yeah, Mind Splitter says you were like platinum one the whenever I was here last. Yeah, um, two days ago, we were in like middle of platinum, and now we're at masters because we went. 34 games in a row. We won 33 out of 34 games, which is crazy. Um, so it wasn't any single deck. We we you know we did our normal thing, King James. We just play five games with one deck, then switch, play five games with another. We just kept on going 5-0, 5-0, 5-0, 5-0. It was crazy. Just the best streak ever had. 33 out of 34. So that so that was with seven different decks. So that wasn't just one deck. All right, I'm just gonna send the rummage back. Basically, have suit up prote to protect bot. I don't know if that's really worth it, but I'm thinking that Mystic Shot kills Twisted Fate, but it doesn't kill Ezreal. Humanity is obsolete. All right, so much for my whole suit up protect bot routine. We can have suit up protect Twisted Fate though. I thought you'd never ask. Stop bragging if you can back it up. So I could go red card and do one damage to them, but I'm just going to do gold card. Because either way, like, I, I want my Mystic Shot to be able to take down the Cesareal. So, you know, waiting the Mystic Shot till here, because if I would have cast the Mystic Shot on my turn, then they could play New Ezreal and have New Ezreal attack me. We play in bilge rules, son. <laughs> yeah, Twisted Fate blue card, but then I don't have I wanna have I'm I'm gonna wait till next turn where I can have suit up. I wanna have Twisted Fate blue card with suit up. Trade I like. Keep up, keep up. So we could go gold card and just take down their spray fin, or we draw a card. Um, so basically, do I want the one card that I would draw to be a zero mana deal two to spray fin? Right, like that's that's like the decision that we can kind of make here, like that. We have the zero mana deal two to spray fin or get a random card. I think we'll get a random card. Eyes open. Discarded to get excited. Discarded to get excited. Because I can, I can suit up and, and protect Twisted Fate again, right? Even though it's damaged and would be a 4-4. Four, four. 
Like if they mystic shot this, this should work, right? <laughs> Mushroom cloud. How are we playing against all these decks that are doing the same thing that we're doing? Like, how do we play against back-to-back purple -back fish decks when we're a purple fish deck? How is that even possible? That's too bad. They were ready for another suit up. You know, like they just saw suit up the turn before, and so it was on their mind. And so they, unfortunately for me, made the correct attack and just completely ready for the other suit up. They're just actually playing Yi Ben Ward. It wasn't just something that they grabbed with the purple fish. They're just actually playing this card. I never disclose my sources. Gotta go with the flow. If only they didn't kill my Twist of Fate that turn. If they didn't make that challenge, you know, like our Twist of Fate's leveled up. So I wanted to do this because I was afraid that if I did the spray fin and had the 4-2 challenge the spray fin, if they killed my 4-2 with, you know, a mystic shot or something, then I wouldn't be able to get rid of, you know, get rid of their thing. But now, by doing this, they can kill my spray fin, but then I have mystic shot. Where do you stand on cold shots? Pool Shark seems to be a pretty good one that our that our opponents are playing that we're not playing. This could be our way to win, is just keep milling out our opponent, I guess. That could be our other way to win again. So pretty easy for me to pass. They have three fleeting cards. These three right here are all fleeting. So we'll kind of see what they want to do with those first. Right now, I guess my rummage is just... Obviously, we're discarding a Mushroom Cloud, and then I guess the other card to discard is another rummage. I guess. Only partner. Could discard the Mind Meld, I suppose. Witness perfection, meatbags. Guard the other rummage. Try again. 
So I think they have one fleeting card left. That was the fleeting card. So there are three fleeting cards were Twisted Fate, Ballistic Bot, and Ezreal. Those are great fleeting cards. Keep up, keep up. Alright, looks like they got this one. Okay, one and one. So we'll see how iterative improvement does. If we'll have time, you know, like for spending the two mana on it. Of course, definitely don't want Warning Shot or uh, Mind Meld early on in the game like this. Oh, hey, we're a Fizz deck. Remember that? I forgot about that because we drew, like, you know, 30 cards last game and we didn't see Fizz. But we are a Fizz deck. And Fizz would have been awesome last game against the Ezreal deck. How they're just, like, you know, Ezreal deck's doing all those spells and everything. That would have been really nice to have Fizz last game. So this means I don't get to destroy Grand Plaza. That's what makes this difficult. I can save this for Grand Plaza and then have Twisted Fate Mystic Shot. Maybe I need to save that for Grand Plaza. There's plenty of killing left. All right, so no Grand Plaza for them. Hell of a day. Oh, now they have Grand Plaza? Oh, I guess I should have played the Twist of Fate first to, for the draw cards. I wanted to, I wanted to make the Wiggly Burblefish one mana. Because I, I think like I'm going to need to like stun, like they play like a Grizzled Ranger next turn and I'm going to need to stun that Grizzled Ranger. Ooh, death rays. Let's get to it. Mind splitter with the tier one sub. Show them what we're made of. Thank you, Mind Splitter. Never lost a fair game. Y'all get those hype votes in the chat for Mind Splitter getting that tier one sub. Why? Why do you need Valor? This is going just fine until they had Valor. Because like Death Ray could finish off a Scythrio, they block with they block with that. Really want to deal damage to them though and turn on plunder. Let's get to it. Fall by my sword. The ocean whispers her secrets. 
Fortunately, that probably means a rally. Okay, at least at least that's not a rally. These cards just don't help. We're not gonna be able to turn on plunder. I go down to six. Obviously, I really wish I had this aftershock for this Grand Plaza. This Grand Plaza just changed everything. They did a great job of like waiting till after I cast aftershock to play Grand Plaza, and then you know just have these island navigators and all this stuff afterwards. They could stop having these repose, please. Scouts wins again, but I guess I should have. All right, Frostbite with Katarina. I think that's pretty smart. I think Katarina is pretty awesome. I like this hand. I like that we have the Ballistic Bot early to create the Ignitions. The Ignition helps out the Black Market Merchant and the Burble Fish. It's a slower hand, but I, I like this hand. Cordex says, I feel like this deck would like some kind of finisher, and, and I agree with you, that's, we have not been, like, just all three of the games that we've played, we haven't really seen how we can win games, I guess the Burble Fish is supposed to be that, I guess, but I agree that we have not really seen anything that wins games yet. So this makes a 2-3 and a 2-4. So I can block Legion Drummer. I guess like they're gonna challenge the two four. I can, because I can't just like let them do this forever. I don't know, but I kind of need these ignitions also. All right, maybe we just let them have that. But I get to keep a, a ballistic bot in play. So I guess I could have had a two four if I would have just not played that first. So I did miss out on having that two four. I really want to take a brittle steel. Troll chance like option number two of what I want to take. But that's not bad either. Well, thank you. Just waste a lot more mana than me and not get the attack with all this stuff. Can you improve perfection? Join me if you want to live. Who gets tossed? We should have Enrage Yeti coming down here pretty soon. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. Awesome, Mukten. Yeah, hopefully the, the Thresh Deep does good. Glad you're excited about that. I'm a people person.
Jury rig. Mushroom cloud. Jailbreak. <laughs> None of those cards are useful. Can I get that rummage back? Why am I not attacking with more of these things? I should probably attack with more of these things. Because, yeah, I'll trade that. Yeah, I should attack with more of those things. <clears throat> Alright, they're down to seven. What did you catch? Can you improve perfection? Mystic shot's a good draw. Uh I'm not sure. What's what's the what's the gauntlet? I don't know if I, I don't really have any specific deck I would recommend for a gauntlet. Three. So they've already played one troll chant and we stole a troll chant from them. So hopefully we can mystic shot this glory seeker and they don't have a troll chant left. To tell. So I'm assuming I cannot jury rig right now. Can anybody confirm that? My assumption would be that I can't jury rig and get a 1-1 with having the board like this and then have the 1-1 block. Gotta trust your instincts. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Easy. Charmed, I'm sure. I kind of just set myself up to being dead to a third troll chant on their side. Kinda. Safety disengaged. See, Ash didn't level up, right? Right. Oh, they did have Ice Veil Archer? I fear they would have played Ice Veil Archer first. And so that they, since they didn't play Ice Veil Archer, I, I wish I would have just gone Burst Spell then. Because, yeah, I wanted to make it so just Harsh Winds doesn't save them by playing the Fizz. Like, so they had to have Harsh Winds plus, like, Archer. I I could have protected against Ar Archer with the Burst Spell. Okay, but they even had Brittle Steel too, so they just had it all. They just literally had it all. So... Yeah, this is bad. Oh, that's true. I guess Reckoning would have been another card that I need to watch out for. I can play the jury rig and do one damage, but whatever, it's one damage. I prefer not to do that. They walked around, saved the homestead. It was right on my tail. Why couldn't I grab the Frostbite card? Okay. <laughs> Plunder Poro. Joke debate.
Let's go, Mind Meld. We get the sweet animation. We're gonna steal this game. Some 16 16s. Ah, uh, I had a flash freeze. All right, the game plays on. Oh, one puff cap. We both drew champions. Theirs was prismatic. This might. <laughs> what a crazy game. No, Fizz does not work with Reckoning. Reckoning doesn't target Fizz. What a great game. What a comeback. Alright, let's let's try out the deck that goes very big. Let's see how we do here. So yeah, I love our nab cards in this kind of matchup. I mean I guess I could just keep this and just start with two one ones in play. And just kind of, you know, we have the attack token. We can be kind of aggressive like that. Now, Ballistic Bot doesn't die to uh, Avalanche. So I can attack now for three damage, and I make sure that Avalanche doesn't hurt us. But if I do this, and then they Avalanche, then I play Black Market Merchant, and we actually do four damage. We actually do an additional point of damage. I guess that's an option that I didn't really consider. I guess that's an option. Is. I get less damage in because of that thing. Let's talk about your dad. Yeah, I decided, I decided to throw the 1-1 one -one at him because of Avalanche. I could go Twisted Fate red card. And then Avalanche kills the Twisted Fate, though. This one's on the house. I would rather just do that. Oops, you okay. Those are useful. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. Says I don't share. Oh, I'm sorry, Nash. Or yeah, I didn't. I didn't start that prediction again. My bad. My bad. One-sided avalanche. System upgrade. Hey, take it to the gun show. Oh, I should have killed this weirding stone, shouldn't I, with the vile feast? I don't know why I was kind of focused on vile feast on these other things. I, sh I should have killed that. Because, yeah, eight mana is a very important amount of mana to have with um, Trindamir also. Nice I got an extra mana this turn. Bow to your king. Rise, 
Well, those are good. Especially that harsh winds. Yeah, we're gonna have. Yeah, like who's the Ledros atrocity deck now? That's, that's kind of our plan. We'll have harsh winds next turn. Yeah, so we'll have to play harsh winds next turn. So I won't be able to play Ledros next turn. Where are you for? So I'm even, even gonna have like, I don't know, like Atrocity, this Ballistic Bot after a little while is gonna be pretty sweet. I don't really have anything else I need to play right now. Even though I just wasted two mana. Should have just gotten the urchin. Maybe, yeah, maybe I should have just got the urchin. Urchin would have put me to seven. So the next turn, our draw step, we level up Twisted Fate. The good part, of course, about the Burble Fish is it costs zero mana instead of one, so we have an additional mana here, and then obviously it's an elusive, which is not easy for them to deal with. Um, how, how did you want me to kill Trundle? What, what did you want me to do to kill Trundle? And question A, question B is why? I guess. I go Troll Chant here, then we're looking at 7, 10, 11 damage. They gain the 3, and so then we're looking at, like, Aftershock killing them. That's probably a good use of a mana. Oh, 4? Not three, four. Right, because the one one died, right? I don't think it's play Ledros. I guess I guess I kinda have to go for atrocity, don't I? Let's see. Oh, come on, come on. Four five. Can you improve perfection? Fire till nothing moves. If I go Ledros and then Atrocity the Ledros next turn, there's just so many ways they can break up the Ledros. I mean, just any of the, the Flash, I guess just like the Flash Freeze cards of Vengeance do that. Um, if I go Atrocity right now on Ballistic Bot, then they're looking at just like Vile Feast. Basically, I've already taken one Vile Feast. There's two Vile Feasts in their deck, so it stops that there. 
If I wait till if I cast Aftershock right now and then next turn Atrocity the Fizz, they can't basically kill the Fizz except for just Withering Well, which they've already used. So that's my safest thing there. But the problem with that is then they could have another way to heal their Nexus, any way to heal their Nexus, and that doesn't actually work. So it, I guess I think that I'm gonna have them. There we go. So you know, kind of talking through it. I think this was the best case of make it only only vile feast and we've already stole one vile feast from them there we go because i think because also with like with that going on right there i think that after after they cast the withering whale and i cast the troll chant i think if they have a vile feast in hand they would just simply cast the vile feast right there and kill one of my elusives all right but there we go that's fizz's fate a good good record another three and two you know, like another winning record in Master's rank with some wiggly burble fishes and all this kind of stuff. The nabs were super clutch. They really helped us out in a lot of those games, especially the nabs with Ignition. That was uh, pretty spicy. That that did a lot of work for us. Um, and uh, yeah, we didn't we didn't get to do too much with Fizz actually. They just never you know we didn't have Fizz too much. We only had Fizz like at the very end of that last game, but that's kind of about it. We had that this one of Mind Meld helped us win that Frostbite game that was super close. We played those last two games were against two very good decks and they were super close and we ended up being on top. Um, so pretty cool little deck here. This is a fun one to play if you want to do some Twisted Fate Fizz stuff. You know, feel free to give this one a try. This one uh, was pretty fun. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, y'all know that drill. Hit that like button, and please, please leave those comments. Those comments really help out the channel, and they always brighten up my day. Um, but that's all I have for this video. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.